everybody. Thanks for dropping in. We're going to do a uh, 2000. Sorry, I'm watching. Timmy Toucans. Timmy Toucans. Anyways, we're going to do a 2024 uh, first show for uh, Honda Pioneer 700-4. Uh, I don't know why I've never thought of doing it this way before, but uh, enjoy the video. Here we go. Everybody, what do we got here, guys? We got the 2024 Honda Pioneer 700-4. You know, everybody's always like, hey, I want to see what it looks like. Your best place to go is so simple and easy to go to. It's called powersporthonda.com. Right here, guys, it has the new Honda Pioneer 700-4. And the best thing about going to this website and doing this instead of going to a dealership is you can even order it from here. And you can even go on here and pick it and then go to the dealership and do it. And look up at here. It's got 24. It's got the still 23 in here you can go to. But this is something you wouldn't see at a dealership. Look here. Base price right here. It tells you. Honda gives you your base price on it. It tells you what your destination charge is. I don't know if you can even see that right here because it's it's really small try to highlight it there it's 785 dollars and freight surcharge is 400 dollars underneath it there's no there's no haggle in here you guys can see that there's the msrp it, it tells you you don't let the dealership mess around with you go here and look it up and find out for yourself honda don't mess around the cool thing about going to the website though that i found out for sure and i know i'm just kind of jumping around a little bit because this is just a real exciting kind of a uh website to me I, I i use it on another video trying to tell people you can go also to this to find out if you if you need to uh, lost your owner's manual you need to know it but anyways back to this so trim selection you can pick a trim selection out of here there's three trim selections and right now we're on the the simplest trim selection but it's got your different colors you can pick on it you know it's got the green the black forest green it's got the the avenger red that's an interesting red to say avenger red but uh and it's got the sandstone beige on it, okay? But if you pick a different trim selection, you know, you got your 700, uh, or your Power Pioneer 700-4 Deluxe. Here, you can pick that one. Two different colors on it. It's got this Krypton green, and it's got, I think, the Venger Red again you can pick on it. So it just tells you that there's some other colors you can pick from. People can go, well, what's the different trim selections? Well, cool thing I found out about that, too, picking a trim selection that you're like going which one should i pick you can actually put the two against each other let's go look at this pioneer 700-4 uh forest first because this is this is what i have on my pioneer 700-4 even though mine's a 2021 and they did change them in 23 from 22 they and people always go what did they change they didn't change much everybody people try to say the transmissions changed no the transmission did not change they just started calling it something a little different i've been to dealers talk to them transmission is the same guys it's not any different the only thing that was changed was cosmetic and the only cosmetic that was changed was the dash and the steering column but I did notice on this for the 24, I don't know if it's with the 23 or not, they did see this bigger bigger uh, front bumper. That is completely different than mine. Mine would look more like if you picked just the deluxe one, not the forest one. It's that bumper right there, that front bumper. So that is kind of cool to see that. Even on the regular, just the basic, it still has the same front bumper as the deluxe would have so the only way they get the bigger bumper unless you ordered it because they would still all be interchangeable to uh install on it would be to uh uh buy the forced one that's a pretty cool bumper and i know it would work on my machine this makes you wonder where you should buy that aftermarket eh anyways just saying guys that that kind of was cool to me but anyways back to what i was saying before here's a bunch of pictures of them right here when you pick them the build for which one you want down here here's the basic you know once again it has the msrp right there the 13.99 14.99 or 16.99 for the, the force one so you can actually compare the two you go well what's the difference so let's hit compare that one and we're going to add one and we'll 
pick the second one to compare. So the next bump up on it. So features, this is what's the difference in them because all the dash and all that and the tilt steering wheel, that's all standard. So this is what will be different. If you go to the deluxe, you're going to get electric power steering. You're going to also get the manual mode, which is the paddle shifters or the, the automatic transmission mode, which this is funny to put paddle shifters. If you didn't have these two modes, you wouldn't have paddle shifters anyway. So it's just funny how they just put those two down there like that. Aluminum wheels, if you looked at the basic, it's just your solid metal wheels up there. Uh, bed lights, which people go, what are the bed lights? Bed lights are actually... What it says, in the bed, in the dump bed of the Honda, there is bed lights. Some people's trucks, when they get like a bigger 2500 or 3500, they put bed lights now for like if you get a fifth wheel or a gooseneck. And it also has a 12-volt accessory outlet back there now, which is kind of cool. Maybe you got riders in the back and they, they want to hook something up to a 12-volt. Or if you're back there and you need to plug something in, like, I don't know, a tire pump or some kind of accessory you're using on the farm that would be kind of cool to have both of them still come with the same engine same same bore stroke everything compression everything induction valve train drive train they're all the bloody same so uh just so you know that no difference drive train all different all the same chassis brakes all the same yada 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 everything's the same size tires are the same the only difference is like we said, is that you get the aluminum wheels instead of the metal wheels, but the tire sizes are still the same. Uh, the the only where we have to remember something about the width and the height and the length. I did notice there is a difference from that, I believe, to the next one with the the length. That's what it is. The length will be different on the forced one and it took me a minute to realize well, what's the difference in length remember how i showed you guys to have the different bumper that's the length difference on it and you know what now that i think about that i probably couldn't get that one because i have a trailer that's only 10 feet long or lengthwise a garage in my rv to haul mine and if i got any bigger it wouldn't fix i had to relocate and i'm gonna make videos about all this how to relocate some of my lights to make it fit and uh yeah so i couldn't even get that bumper if i wanted to that's kind of crazy so huh this is weird curb weight i didn't notice this before curb weight is actually what is that uh nine pounds difference i wonder why that's kind of odd i wonder what what's the difference between two unless how can the aluminum wheels weigh more Hmm, things that make you go, hmm, right? Anyways, shows you the colors that you have between the, the all the ones on there, you know. Sometimes somebody might want this uh, black forest green, and they'll just get the lower one just because it only comes in the the standard model. And what's the biggest thing on the standard model that you're losing? You're losing this and the power steering. Is power steering really needed? Yeah. Aluminum wheels you could always put on. You could actually put even the power steering. You can add that to it, to this one if you ever wanted to. Uh, these, I don't know for sure. And I don't know, I don't think you could add the modes or the paddle shifters. But anyways, with the electric power steering and the aluminum wheels, you could change down the road if you ever wanted to. So let's change this. Let's uh, change that one to the... Uh, the uh, you know, and that's my, I might be confusing people by doing it that way. I wonder if I should have this one over here and this one over there. Anyways, so to make this more understandable to you, everything this one has pretty much is over here. So it still has all the same stuff. And it comes pre-installed with a winch. The bed light's the same. It comes with that large front bumper. That's the new thing. Uh, it also has... I didn't know this. This is something new. It has the under under dash storage, which is different, and also the the camo, obviously, because that's the camo. Uh, but everything else is the same. So, what did it come different to jump from this one to this one to condone? What is that? So that goes to fifteen nine. It's two grand more. You're getting a winch for two grand more. You're getting 
a larger front bumper for two grand more, and you're getting increased under dash storage for two grand more, and you're getting the Phantom Camo for two grand more. Woo, is that worth it in my book? I don't know. The camo, I, w I just love the camo. But I don't know if the camo's worth two grand because, I don't know, the front bumper you probably could get for, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it would be less. You could go get an aftermarket bumper or something, which I don't know if that bumper, I wouldn't care if I had the bumper or not. I mean, they could try to say it's $500, $600. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. This two grand more seems like a lot. You know, in the a winch, I could put a winch on for a couple hundred bucks, two hundred, three hundred dollars myself. So let me say three hundred dollars for that. The bumpers five hundred dollars. We're at eight hundred. So that means it must be twelve hundred dollars for the oh no, and the under storage. I mean, those could be a couple hundred. So there, and then a, the thousand for the fan. Maybe it is worth it if you really want all that stuff money wise but that's the only differences that's that's the the few differences is is the uh winch is pre-installed large front bumper increased under dash storage which is just this plastic thing that you could install on these and you can install on the other one you can buy them separate and the 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 camo the honda fandom camo which you yeah so I think a lot of people will be buying this one mainly just because if they want that that uh, camo. Otherwise, they're going to be just getting this one with either the that red or that, uh, I call it green, but I don't think it was called green. But everything else is the same. And this is where I told you guys earlier, you scroll down here, you get to... Uh, uh, and oh, oh yeah, the bed capacity, towing capacity, those are all the same. You get down to, where is it at? Do, 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 do. Oh, the curb weight does change. I want to talk about that earlier before. It does change even higher. But once again, it's because you got that winch on there now. You got the, the heavier front bumper on there. So it all makes sense. But where was it? And nobody knew this too. Honda comes with a one-year uh, warranty. Every other make and model I ever come up to that it's always six months so honda is the leading at least in uh what they're offering give you uh for a warranty big capacity length there it is see the length's longer in the forest one and i know that's just because the bumper you know what i mean the bumper is what's gonna stick out more and make the length longer so i don't know if i would ever want to get that bumper it's like i'm gonna make a video and show you guys my trailer that this honda pioneer 700 fits into because you got to remember the honda pioneer 700 is sorry that's my phone going off is uh sorry trying to get it where it's not going to quack like that again it it is taller than the 1000 so I don't know about the length. I don't think the length and width are too much difference, but the height is different. And believe it or not, the 1,000 actually sits lower than a 700. I don't know why it was designed differently, but it was designed differently. But anyway, I'm going to show a video of the trailer that I bought and uh, show you what trailers will work for this machine to go into. And then I want to do a video of showing installing it and uninstalling it and I go over all that but that's a whole nother two videos i'd like to do it's just really hot right now out there you know like i could have ran to the dealership you know right now in my town and even done this video like that and showed you guys it up front but i would only been able to show you one they would not had all these these trims they wouldn't have had had all of the colors you could see they just wouldn't have that they, they wouldn't have it at all so one thing I do want to show though is is the uh, the machine itself. You know, I like how they do a little gallery here, but they usually do. I think I must have clicked the wrong thing. So I don't know why I click that. No, we don't want that. But we don't want that either, I guess. You can do what I call... 
Oh, the you can do 360 look on it, which is kind of cool. So that's what I was trying to show you guys, a 360 look on it. Now, sign up for the latest. So we don't want latest updates. We already know the trims. We already know the features on it. I showed them all the different features, specifications, engine. Oh, that's interesting. I used to like looking at all this to find out the engines, drivetrain, <laughs> accessories. Look at all the accessories you could buy for it. I still, this is crazy. I remember these, I have these aluminum guards right here on mine. And I think for my whole set, I have a video on that. I don't remember it, but I know it's it. I think for the whole set was like the cost of just two. And I got all four. And that company saw there, they're a home, like a, a, a small business. And they build themselves the best ones I have. That I think I've had them on there for... A little over a year now, no issues with them at all. And people go, well, why do you want those guards on there? Well, you don't have to worry about sticks shooting through and hitting your drive lines. You don't have to worry about... Uh, but one thing I really like about them, they almost... If you know what a rock slider is, they act like rock sliders on your A-arms. If you know what that means, enough said. But uh, I'm hoping to do a video on a uh, bed extender right here, which is the same price, but it folds... And it's uh, from another company. If they send it, then we'll we'll do it. So, uh, what am I looking for here that I'm not getting? I wanted to go to the gallery and actually try to show you guys the the dash up close instead of just the machine itself. And I'm kind of surprised there's not a a thing for that. You know, it shows the trims and overview. It shows everything here, but it doesn't it doesn't let you kind of zoom in on the inside of it. You know, like if you go to like a dealership, uh, uh, they actually let you. You know, you can change color in here. They'll actually let you go to. I want to change there, and it'll show like photos of the inside of the machine to look at it which is crazy they don't do that here kind of nuts you know hmm so i guess that's the only downfall to this website you know luxury power steering as it shows me that i don't know why i'd want to see what that looks like right Let's check something out here. Let's go back. I don't know how many times I've clicked this. Probably a lot. Let's go uh, look up Honda. Pioneer. Uh, 2024. Dash picks. Think it'll give us anything? Yahoo! Look at that. Yeah, it does. So. Ooh. So, oh, why'd it do that? Why are you doing that? There it is. So look, this is the old one right here. This is my machine right here. So this would be up to 2022. This is what the the dash looked like. Pretty much basic. Got your your forward and backwards. You know, it's this one's missing the paddle shifters. Would be here on the side of the steering wheel. Right here would be your automatic to to manual switch. Would been right there. This is your four wheel. <coughs> Four wheel drive and all that right there. Getting scratchy throat really bad. This one looks like the newer one. Yep, so here's the newer one on it. So now you have your your big old glove box. You have a little panel here for your I actually think this is cool because 
because going back to the the older model right here this big old plastic thing here I took that out and I went to have a video on it and I bought a thing that go in here that has my switches so that's kind of cool to think about that that became a cubby hole now which is, and then they put all that information here on the glove box that you apparently still need to have stuck somewhere. And the glove box is actually bigger. And uh, your handles are, they look different, but they still do the same thing. You know, four wheel drive lock. It's got your neutral drive rear. And there's that switch I was talking about. That's still the same spot. This steering wheel is, uh, what do you call it? It, it angles out or uh, adjustable steering column there. You still have your parking brake over there. Uh, the biggest thing I heard is this speedometer thing that is way better. I would agree with that. It does look way better. Uh, doesn't mean the old one doesn't function or do its job. Just means that this one I think is better. Enough said, right? A little update. Anyways, back to that switches. I think that's cool that it came with it here, that you don't have to install your own. That's kind of nice. And everybody always goes about that extra storage thing. That extra storage thing I talked about, that you're not seeing it in here in the Deluxe. It'd be underneath the dash here. It does an extra storage thing. Kind of silly. Who cares? Well, I don't know. I used to be a big whiner about storage on... Uh, on the Honda Pioneer 700, and you know, I started finding out you can put bags up on the top. I have videos on that. Bags everywhere. You, there's plenty of places to add storage to the machine, so I don't cry about that anymore. I've kind of moved on from that whole crying thing. I think I just like to hear my voice sometimes cry. Anyways, guys, this is just a big difference. Like I said, from the this is the 22 model see it this is the 23 model and the 24 model tilting steering wheel bigger glove box cubby hole storage and uh yep yes sir that is about it well guys uh like always thanks for stopping in i hope this was good enough for you guys to see you know what the 2024 looks like i think this is way better than just going and walking around one and just seeing one because they all got this, the infamous, you know, uh, bed still on them. You know, the, the uh, I forgot what I was just was looking up here. They still got all the beds on them. Uh, let's see if I can pop this up again. Yeah, Power Sports Honda. They still have the, the beds on them. You know, the same bed on them with the four-seaters. Four they haven't changed a lot at all on what they are. You know, the doors are still here. You still got, you know, same doors. The only thing that was big that I showed you is the dashes that have changed. You know, you still have the same seats in the back that flip up and flip down. Same opening gate. Everything's just pretty much the same. You, you know, I got videos on that. But even if... If you were still hunting one down, there's not much you can't see here to pick what you want. And once again, it's this Power Sport Honda. You know, right up here, I don't know if you can even see that. Can I highlight that? PowerSportHonda.com. You can go to this and find whatever you want. You know, it, it it's just better than going to a dealer in my mind. It does going to give you that pricing up on it. It's not going to lie to you right at the, the beginning. You know, select your trim on it. I'm going to hit a trim on here. And it just it tells you, you know, why am I not getting what I was getting before? What am I what am I doing wrong, everybody? What am I doing wrong? Is it build? Yeah, there it is, build. It gives you your pricing right here at the front. It tells you how much they're going to be. There's your basic. There's your deluxe. There's the the forest one. Which I'm going to be honest for you guys, this tell you how much these machines have went up. I bought mine, and it was out the door for this MSRP price right here. And I pretty much got this one, even though mine didn't come with that bumper. Mine came with this bumper, and it was 2021. So prices have went up for sure. 2023, I want to, wow, so uh, price went up 100 bucks each machine. Well, nope, 
went up a hundred bucks on the big ones and went up about six hundred bucks on the little guy here. But it just shows you the different colors here on them. It looks like they did that bumper back in 2023. I know it wasn't around in 21, so that's kind of cool they did that. But let's look at the details of 2023. Large front bumper, hot em, camo, electric power steering, aluminum wheels. Same stuff. Nothing has changed from 23 to 24. So just so you guys know that, other than the price, went up 100 bucks. So, anyways, I'm rambling on, everybody. This is going to be a long video, so I do apologize. But uh, if you like these video, let me know. Please leave a message. And uh, if you don't like to leave a message, too, please hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I have a lot more videos coming. So I'm going to try to do two to three videos a week for now on for a little while. Got a lot of stuff to make. I actually got a, a paper that is very long. And I have a couple of... Uh, installs new accessories come in i want to talk about rv hauling these machines around uh yeah a lot of stuff got to do differential uh service here pretty soon so a lot of videos coming guys uh god bless keep the powder dry and uh we'll see you on the next one